For the past month, I have been tinkering with my X16 to create an e-bike food delivery setup which can be brought into trains which will enable me to bring my X16 and other accessories to other parts of the island for food delivery in an easy and convenient manner without compromising my ability to deliver safely and comfortably. So in this video, let's take a look at how I have done that. The e-bike that I bought this year is the X16. Now, this setup can work on other foldable e-bikes of a similar design. So if you're thinking of following this uh, video to set up your e-bike in a similar manner, then share with me how it went. You can just leave a comment down uh, in the comment box below. Now, one of the features of the X16 is the magnetic locking mechanism, which keeps the e-bike frame together in its folded position. In an earlier video, I mentioned I got this together with the rack extension, but I found out that once installed, the magnetic lock does not work as the magnets are too far apart to be magnetized due to the folded rack. Maximal SG does provide a Velcro band for you to secure the e-bike manually, but I still preferred the original magnetic lock due to its convenience and slimmer profile once folded. Hence, I decided to remove the extension. Without the rack extensions, I needed to find an alternative way to mount my delivery bag, which is why I got this. This is an adjustable food delivery rack. Uh, it is able to cater to various sizes due to its sides, which can slide uh, according to the size of your bag. I will be placing it in my food delivery bag and upon reaching my destination, I intend to secure it to the back rack of the X16 using zip ties. A word of caution, if you are using zip ties, please make sure to get the thicker ones so they do not snap easily in the event of heavy loads. I was using the MFC 62 liter magnetic version 3 bag. However, this is a sling bag which is not so convenient to carry around while pushing the e-bike. Introducing the Million Factory Club's 53.3 litre Magneto version 3 armor series magnetic and zip with lock ring backpack food delivery thermal bag. Wow, that name is so long. Okay, this bag, right, it comes with uh, shoulder straps so I can carry it like a backpack which frees up both my hands, thus ena enabling me to maneuver my folded e bike easily. It features the same magnetic locking lid, which is very convenient to open and close when your hands are full of orders. Size-wise, even though there is a 9.7 liter difference between my previous bag and this one, it is only slightly smaller when you actually compare it. This backpack uses inserts instead of the plastic skeleton frame that most riders are familiar with. The hanging holders are actual plastic locking clips which are stitched in so you can't move them. The biggest visual difference are these side zippered pockets, which are perfect for me. I can use these to carry my raincoat as well as my food delivery essential rescue kit. But the real kicker is that this MFC bag is perfectly paired with the adjustable rack. And let me explain why in the next segment. Now, even though both products are from different companies, they complement each other perfectly. Let's take a look. I will not be using the side extensions on the rack as the backpack is just the right frame, uh, right size for the frame. If you decide to follow my setup, then the first thing you have to do is to turn the bag upside down and then uh, take your delivery rack and all you have to do is just simply place it over like this and uh, get the clips out. These are the side clips for you to secure to the food delivery rack. Uh, so all you have to do is just clip it in like so on all the four corners. Okay, next, just make sure that everything is secure tightly like so, so that it has a very good snug fit. And there you go, it actually fits onto the rack perfectly. So next, what we are gonna do is that I'm gonna use the zip ties to tie up these long straps over here so that you know they don't dangle so much or cause any sort of uh, 
of hazard la, while riding because uh, any dangling straps right just try to uh, use zip ties or rubber bands to just tie them up so this is how i secure the food delivery rack onto the e-bike uh, i used a, a total of six very thick straps uh, one over here one over here another two here and this part over here as well later on i'll just snip this off once the rack is secured we can just simply place my food delivery bag as so and uh, i can just simply secure it by clipping it clipping the side clips uh. yep and there you have it on other accessories that a food delivery rider actually needs is of course a handphone mount i will be retaining this handphone mount since it works so well so i'm not going to change it and another one is uh, you know being a food delivery rider especially when you're riding in the hot sun uh, i tend to drink a lot of water which is why i got this water bottle and a camp a clamp style holder this uh, clamp style holder right it's easily detachable so all i have to do is just unscrew this part here and then this thing actually pops up and i can just drop this into my food delivery bag when i'm actually ready to fold my e-bike and travel back the turning light system is an essential safety accessory the system i'm using is the maximal sg tls01 and uh, since it works really well i am not gonna remove anything from it uh, i don't want to compromise any of the features or functions on it so i'm just gonna keep it as it is as well another safety accessory which i feel essential for all e-bike riders are side mirrors However, I do not have them installed on this. Instead, I will be using the tri-eye glasses, thus keeping my handlebar in its minimalist condition. If you want to know more about the tri-eye, check out my earlier review episode devoted entirely to these revolutionary cycling sunglasses. And there you have it. This is my complete setup. So next, let's test out this setup, how well it functions by taking it out on the road and through the trains to see whether all of this uh, setup of mine, how I've actually fitted everything in to make it easy to transport in trains and buses, whether it's workable and whether there are any other issues that I will need to fix moving forward. So let's go. We can ride this though, the superstar disco. And we can ride looking like a superfly disco. And you can ride this though, but we can fly disco. And you can ride looking like a superfly disco. And we can ride this though, the superstar disco. And we can ride looking like a superfly disco. And you can ride this though, but we can fly disco. And you can ride looking like a superfly disco. Once I set up my e-bike ride, I actually turned on my app and I got my first order already. It's from McDonald's over here. It's a Grab Express order. Let's go and pick it up. I waited for a couple of minutes and then a, a fellow rider, right, he actually recognized me. So he came to me and uh, said hello. And while we were talking, right, I showed him the order that I received. And then he told me that actually it's not this McDonald's. There's actually another McDonald's uh, nearby so i need to go to that so jason thank you very much for guiding me really appreciate it man and uh let's see should be fairly close ah okay i think i see the wait ah uh, let me see uh. wow. oh okay so this i think this should be the mcdonald's already yeah Hey, thank you. Okay, hey, thanks, man. Okay, bye. Collected the order, the, my first McDonald's order, and I'm on the way to deliver it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna like show you how many orders I've been doing over here because this is actually just an experimental uh, delivery rider. Right, uh. So let's see how much I can do 
within the next couple of hours. Time now is 12.40 p.m. I hope to finish off my last order at 2 p.m. to head back home. So let's see how many more we can do after delivering this. This order is uh, taking me to the infamous NUS area. Now this area right is very well known among the delivery riders in the west because this particular NUS campus right, it actually has a lot of uphills and uh, downhills. Uh, there is relatively no flat ground and uh, i I've, I've heard a lot of discussions about this particular area right oh red light stop 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 alama i uh wow it's a steep downhill eh. then wow when the light turns green uh, i'm going to have a hard time pushing up you know see actually in this cases right in situations like this uh is when a throttle would really be helpful uh because you know you just use a throttle to go up uh, it will actually be more safer today lucky uh, saturday uh, no not much traffic uh, but just imagine if there are like cars and everything behind and then oh, okay uh, oh, alama, uh, okay let the okay 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 the motor caught on okay go up up uh, oh, okay uh okay back in the groove already so anyway uh, um, situations like this is when you know i really wish lta would approve throttle e-bikes uh, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon so okay that's i mean we just have to deal with it i guess so anyway uh, this particular area right i've never been here before this is my first time attempting deliveries in nus at clementi and wow it's uphill all the way man wow really this thing is gonna be a battery killer you know and plus the uphill right it's not in a regular descent or or uphill motion uh. there is like plenty of uh, spaces or slopes right where suddenly it's more steeper and suddenly it's more downhill and you can see that <laughs> this particular spot that i'm actually climbing up is wow really uh, without an e-bike uh, wow, i sure cannot want uh. i must get down and push if it's a manual bike already okay uh, okay leveling off already and uh okay so downhill so i guess there are uh, of course uh, you know whenever you have uphill right there's always bound to be downhill so just let it rip lah, let it go uh. anyway this delivery is to a dormitory uh. Uh, i don't know this place eh. then like all the signs and the map is a bit confusing uh, uh Wow, how come no road sign or anything? Uh? I don't see any... Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I saw the sign already. Uh, I think need to turn right. Turn right. I think must go round the roundabout. Roundabout. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. Wow, uphill some more. Ah, okay. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, the bike can handle pretty well. Uh yeah no issue at all power is uh is enough then downhill again and uh 
Oh, I think okay. I'm reaching the dormitory already. Uh, let's check the map. Okay, it's uh, just right across the street there. So let's go and deliver. Uh, uh, deliver two one four six. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Number ten. Uh, time now is uh, 2 10 p.m. I started off at about 10 40 uh. so 2 10 10 40 to 2 10 would be three and a half hours so three and a half hours uh, I wanted to do grab food but then for well, the waiting time you know morning uh, already turned me off uh, for the McDonald's so I switched to Deliveroo Deliveroo the, the distances were a bit insane I went to a lot of uh, places that I've heard uh, like other riders complain about like uh, the NUS uh, grounds uh, so I okay uh, riders who are in the telegram group chat uh, such as you know Nigel and uh, 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 the food delivery is famous guy yeah you know yeah I agree with what you say NUS wow really man I tell you it's is uh, you 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 really need a lot of uh, patience uh, to go up those hills uh. yeah it's really really uh, tough going up those hills i mean that that entire place right there's like virtually no flat ground that entire area is all full of slopes and you know uh, downhill slopes uh. but anyway uh, so for delivery i did a total of eight orders 57 dollars and 89 cents and over on grab food i did uh, one order which is five dollars and ten cents so uh, this is just an experimentation of uh, what i wanted to do uh, with this foldable e-bike i've more or less uh, decided that this is how i want to go to other areas using this uh, foldable e-bike of mine uh, so uh, however now i'm thinking right uh, which platform should i do should I focus on Deliveroo or should I focus on grab food when I go to neighboring zones? Uh, maybe you know you might like to leave a comment down below. Uh, or I tell you what, if you I will do up a poll in the Telegram group chat as well as in the YouTube uh, community page. So uh, I will put up the poll as in uh, you want me to do grab food in in neighboring zones or Deliveroo in neighboring zones. So just remember to vote and the platform which has the highest votes right on those days which i'm going to a different zone i will do that particular platform and uh, basically that's it for now i'm gonna head back to clementi mrt station and go back home uh, so this is the end of the episode ride safe be safe g-man signing off <laughs>